Welcome to The Tyndale Show, episode number seven. And today I have with me uh, Mr. Steve Hodgson. So welcome, Steve. Uh, Steve has been at the school for 30 years this year. And uh, I'm really keen, Steve, to hear about how you started at the school and what your role was like when you started compared to what it's like now. Okay, well, that's vastly different. When I first started at the school, I was the only handyman groundsman. I was here for 15 hours a week, uh, part-time. From there till now, I'm full-time as the property manager. Uh, I have a team of six people working for me. When we first started here at the school, we had blocks one, two, three, and half a block four in the middle school. Um, now we have an area of about 12 hectares, 15 separate buildings, five of them uh, two-storey buildings. And so the role has uh, completely changed and grown. Tell us about what's happening at the moment uh, out the front of the middle school. Uh, at the front of the middle school, we've got a complete revamp of our home economics centre. The whole building was completely gutted and we've put all new joinery in there. Uh, we're adding a cafe in one corner of the building with our fresco dining for parents to uh, you know, stop and have a tea and coffee and chat with other parents. All new fridges and freezers and nice big new dry store. Um, yeah, all new data projectors and teaching areas. And when can we expect to see that complete? And that will be completed this year, um, which is only about uh, six weeks away, I think. And there has been some disruptions, I guess, with that. Probably not as big as what the disruption is going to be next year, um, because we're about to put a new job out to tender this week. Uh, tell us about that. We have four new general learning areas or classrooms that will be going down next to Block 1 in our middle school. And also in conjunction with that project, we'll be building a new car park out on our Joe Costello Reserve. And that will be our new entrance to the middle school. And the entrance there will go right across the front of block four and five and so the whole of uh, the front of those buildings uh, technically not quite the front of the school at the moment that will become the front of the school so all of those buildings uh, will have a face up lift and what's the plan or i guess the timeline on that and when we can expect to see that finished so february next year we should start that project and it'll probably go for six or eight months and of course coupled with that we've got some classrooms as well being built don't we down in, 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 block, one, yeah. in yeah, block one, so, yeah. uh, so lots to do. Look, when I started, I remember uh, Mr Hodgson uh, being on the tractor. I'd see you on your tractor regularly. Uh, I don't see that very much anymore. So what? To talk to us about the role of the maintenance team and, and all the things that they would do on a, a, a school of our size. The role of the whole team is really to uh, keep the school grounds and buildings up to an acceptable standard for the school and also to keep a safe environment for everybody in the school to work in. The jobs that we would do from a day-to-day -day basis, anything from changing the flickering fluoro, which is not too many these days because we've gone to LED lighting, but we still do have some um, door locks and desks and chairs, that type of thing. And these are the type of maintenance requests that come in on a daily basis. Behind the scenes, we have a list of, I think there's over 100 on the 100 rows of items regular maintenance items that we need to check. I guess the other role for me too is that I'm also involved in um, uh, the Capital Works programs. Well, my final question, Steve, is uh, in your 30 years here, you've no doubt faced lots of challenges with different things. What's been the biggest challenge or what's been the one that has been the most rewarding? The way the school has grown over 30 years, from where it started to where it is now, and there's just been so many challenges. It's just been an exciting journey. I don't know if I could really put my finger on one single thing. Um, I have just grown and grown and grown for 30 years, <laughs> basically. Um, and yeah, it's been really exciting. Would you ever have envisaged that when you started at 15 hours a week, you would be overseeing a multi-million dollar business no. from a property situation? No, I was a groundsman for 15 hours a week. And as you say now, a uh, facility manager or property manager over at a multi-million dollar facility, and I would never have dreamt it. On behalf of our school community, I just want to say thank you because your team does an amazing job. And I know that the name of the property team is held in really high regard throughout the teaching staff. Mm. Uh, you're very efficient, very easy to work with, and we really appreciate everything that, that you've done. Uh, we're really excited about what's coming up over the next couple of years. So thank you, Steve. Thank you.